Consider the following example of an integral, an infinite integral, improper in integral. The integral from 1 to infinity of um, 1 over the exponential function e to the power x plus x squared. Well, I don't dare to touch it in the sense uh, that I don't dare to calculate it exactly, but we will show that it converges. Yeah, so here's the thing, I can compare 1 over e to the power x plus x squared with 0 on the left hand side and also on the right hand side I can compare it with 1 over e to the power x since when I leave out x squared then my term uh, increases on the right hand side so 1 over e to the power x so I know that by the um, comparison criterion if I look at the right hand side, so the integral from 1 to infinity e to the x dx equals the limit for t to infinity of, yeah, it's primitive minus e to the power minus x in between 1 and t. And this is no more than minus e to the power minus t plus e to the power minus 1. So, by taking the limits, we see that this converges to e to the power minus 1. So, now we establish that uh, the integral from 1 to infinity over 1 over e to the power x exists. So, by the comparison criterion, we also see that the integral from 1 to infinity over 1 over e to the power x plus x squared dx should exist. So, this one converges. Another example. So look at the integral from 3 to infinity of 1 over the square root of x minus 1 dx. Here we do the other thing. Yeah, this, this one relates to part 2 of the comparison criterion. Uh, here it's not, easy, not, not, not hard to show that when I add 1 to my uh, denominator that I have a decrease in my term, so 1 over the square root of x minus 1 is larger or equal than 1 over the square root of x. And this holds for all x in 3 infinity. But also, since uh, we've been looking at the, the, the improper integrals of type 1 over x to the power alpha, we know that the integral from 3 to infinity of 1 over the square root of x dx does not converge, right? So, you recall this one? But this is of type 1 over x to the power alpha with alpha smaller than 1. Yeah, so, this one is divergent. But if the smaller function, which is non-negative, is divergent, so the integral from 3 to infinity of 1 over the square root of x does not exist, then neither the integral from 3 to infinity divided of 1 over the square root of x minus 1 dx exists. So this one is divergent as well. 